I remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. Feedback. Oh, feedback. Hi, everybody. How are you? Uh, it's our little, let me just, as always, let me make sure that this is uh, going out because I, I don't trust Facebook anymore. There it is. Yeah. Because I, 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 uh, yesterday I was out, we were out, uh, watching the, uh, the, uh, New York city marathon, uh, which I, I watched them just because I, I like other people to exercise instead of me. Okay. And I was watching it and, um, I decided, you know, we'll do a little, little video and put it out live on Facebook. And somehow uh, Facebook had decided to reroute it to another Facebook account that I have. And so it, it didn't go directly to my regular Facebook page. So I wanted to check this time, make sure this went to the, the Facebook page. Boy, my eyes are, look at that. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Let's say uh, we got a lot of people coming in here. I, uh, oh yeah, every one of them. Well, some of some of the usual suspects right now, and hopefully, uh, as the hour goes on, maybe you you'll want to call if you're watching this. Uh, and uh, that's my favorite uh, flavor: the uh, sparkling water. This is uh, ice lemonade. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, do I feel good. Okay, admit all. There we go. Now I'm. I, I was I pressed the wrong thing because I took my nice pill yesterday, last night. Been taking it for a couple of days, and now I'm bouncing into walls. Cool. But uh, I'm feeling okay. Hello. Uh, let's see here. Uh, first of all, um, we got Edward Berger. That's right. Man with the funny voice. Yes, That's sir. right. Yeah. And then we got uh, Rick Sheckman, the guy who watched Hello. a lot of cartoons with funny voices. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then we uh, we uh, go to Mike Chisholm who's in Canada, where everybody up there has a funny voice. Uh, <laughs> Vernon Null does not have a funny voice. Okay. And Len Lafrisco, same. Okay. Yeah. But I thought I'd just introduce him as two there. <laughs> That's uh, my ham call sign, by the way. I have a. Uh, I'm going to start off with a uh, um, an ethical question for all of you. Okay. So I go to Costco today. And what I wanted to do was buy, I had a lot of cash in the house that I've just been saving up. I mean, it's just piling up. I'm, I shouldn't say that because somebody will break in here and try and find it. But, you know, it, it's cash. So my deal was, okay, uh, let's see here. I don't want to send him a message. No, I want to, I want to bring him in. No, can't. What? They wouldn't take cash? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> For all, no, cancel. Oh, I just want to get rid of the chat. How do I get rid of the chat? There we go. Uh, let me let uh, Len. Uh, let me let. Uh, let me see here. Oh, he's not there. What happened to him? Oh, I don't know. He'll he'll come back in. Anyway, um, uh, uh, if you're watching out there and you just tried to call, call back. Anyway, <laughs> where was I? Oh yeah. So uh, I have all this cash, and and I it just keeps piling up because every time I go somewhere, they want a credit card. You know, if I buy something on Amazon, they take me use my credit card. I can't say, you know, I'd like to pay cash Amazon and then go through all kinds of, do, I, there's nothing I can really do except put it on a, my ATM card, which essentially is cash. So this cash has been sitting around. So I just said, look, you know, I mean, we did, we fin oh, I didn't tell you guys, maybe all you guys that we finished our trial and we are now the tenants of this apartment. Nice. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Do you have to start paying? Oh, uh, yeah. You didn't leave the link. Huh? You didn't leave the link. I didn't leave the link. Damn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I logged on the last week. So okay, hold yeah. on a second. I always use an old link. Well, you thing, a usually, on that. usually you can use the yeah. old links. I didn't put it up today, did I? Now, no. You know, that's I went to gabnet.net and it clicked on it. We go oh. to gabnet.net. Yeah. And the link is there, but hold on a second. Uh, Ender I, just messaged me and said, "Hey, I got no link for Alex. How do I get in?" I don't do Facebook. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't do right. Facebook. Tell him to go to my Facebook page, and I'm um, putting it up right now. C copy. I didn't realize a lot of you just use that. You know, I don't use Facebook at all. You don't use. What do you use to get in? So I use the Zoom link. Uses, well, it's 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 the Zoom link, uh, but now it's up. It's on Facebook. So, folks, no excuse for you not to call now. 
it's like zoom at gabnet.net or something i don't no, know no no it's uh it, you just uh it, it's a whole it's like uh I, I can't even begin to tell you the uh, address. No, I just go back like six months and then forward that one to today, and yeah. then I have it. Yeah, well, I'll put it up every week. I screwed up today. I'm, I'm anyway. So here's what happened. So I, I, it, it, I, it, it's very hard to get rid of cash. So every month, every month, I take out three hundred dollars for my, from my ATM for to keep me going through the month, and because of all the credit card usage. I maybe use a hundred dollars of it. So this money builds up and builds up and builds up and builds up. And I've got a, just a, a, a lot of money in the house for, for another maid to steal. The last maid stole 3000. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So I go to cost. I decide, what do I want to do? I want to buy uh, the apartment something because, you know, it, it deserves it because we're its tenants now and, we're going to be good to it. So I got sick of the audio system I had in the living room. It was just a bunch of things cobbled together with speakers and surround sound, but kind of not great. So I went down there and I saw they had a Vizio surround sound, you know, speaker bar with a surround sound uh, for uh, $212. I think that's the one I have. $200. So I go down there. And there are two of them. There's a the one for $200 and there's the one for $300. And the one for $300 is the newer version and it's supposedly better than the original version. And they're probably trying to blow out the old ones at 200. So I figured ah, I'll buy the $300 one. I got to get rid of this cash somehow, right? <laughs> so I go, I put it in the thing and it's really heavy and I go and get my other stuff, you know. It's the only place where you can buy steaks. I can't get back to my Facebook page, so I can't use an older link. Why can't you go to the Facebook page? I can't get past your page. Oh, oh, hold, 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 hold on a second, Marjorie. I'll mail it to you. Okay. And Charlie Wallace. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, Ch Charlie Wallace. Go to gabnet.net. Go, go. Folks, if you can't well, sign uh, on, go to gabnet.net. There's a thing that says Zoom in the middle of the page. And you just click on that and it'll take you there. Bottom right. Uh, yeah, bottom bottom right. Very good. Well, middle right. Put him in, damn it. Let me, hold on a second. Let me send something to Marjorie. Let's see. New email. Marjorie Miller. What's the first name? That's the first name that comes up. Okay. Okay. And I, I'll just put the link in the uh, 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 link link this takes me forever boy is she pain in the ass huh hey. send her a link to a porn site have some fun with her I do, what <laughs> well, wait a minute is anybody else trying to get in no Nobody bender else? is bender says he is he is i don't see bender here in the waiting room oh you right. know what uh, here's charlie wallace yeah i i there's a carrot thing that i had turned the other way so i couldn't see the uh, waiting room Jesus. There, there we go. There we go. Okay, well, the show is almost over, and uh, hey, there, there, there you got. There we go. Anyway, okay, anyway. well, the show is almost over, and uh, well, who's got now? Who's got audio? Steve, on? Steve's got his audio on. Who? Steve Bender. Steve Bender. Steve, turn oh, it up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, who's got audio? Here, go. oh, here comes Scott Modiker. Uh, admit Scott Modiker. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, so I took the three hundred dollar one. What? What the hell? I got cash. I got to get rid of it, right? And I figured Costco is a good place to get rid of cash because they will take cash. In fact, you go to Best Buy with cash, and the person behind the counter is going, "What's this?" Mm. You know, and you go, "Well, the various presidents of the United States is a history lesson." <laughs> um, and it's not it's, CRT, huh? And it's not CRT, right? <laughs> So uh, I, 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 on your I'm in good. So I go down there and yeah, he looks at it and tries to with the barcode. I tell him I want to pay for cash for this one. Okay, boom. He hits the looks for the barcode and he can't find it anywhere to find out what the price is. Mm. So he asks somebody to go over and get the price, and the guy comes back and guess what? He comes up the price bucks. for the cheap one. Yeah. <laughs> And they said uh, two hundred dollars. I went oh, okay. Yeah. We'll begin with the guy mixed it up and put it all in my stuff that I put on the card, and I didn't want it on the card. 
I said, I want it. He's acting like pissed off at me. I said, I told you I was going to pay cash with this. So finally, I pay cash with it. And uh, I go out, and now I've got a, uh, a, a what do you call it? A, 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 a surround sound speaker, I think, all that for $100 less. Now, my question is when I saw they were making this mistake, was it a moral obligation on my part to say, hey, that's the wrong price. You're going to cheat yourself. It's a hundred dollars more. No, no, no. Okay. You did the right thing. I did the right yeah. thing. Right. You know, because I knew they were making a mistake, but I, you know, was going, oh, okay. Well, if that's what so it you're is. You're going to spend another 30 minutes while they try to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I was doing? I was being nice to the people in back of me. I was trying to speed this thing up. There you go. Okay. Is that good? <laughs> well, and, and I'm, I'm assuming you're going to buy all of us uh, one of those as well. Uh, well good. Yeah. Yes. I'll, 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 well, they're only, they're only $200. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do they plug into the TV set or how do you hook it yeah, up? You, you plug it in the TV set. It's the optical out of the TV that's, set. That's the you actual plug that in. You plug your two surround sound speakers in the back along with the subwoofer, which goes in the back. And it's wireless. And, and, and the, well, the two speakers in the back aren't wireless, but they're hooked into the subwoofer, which is oh, in the back. Which is wireless, yeah. Which sure. is wireless. That's and um, I turn the sound on. How does it sound, Marjorie? Great. Yeah, it's spectacular. I, I, have the, I have the same one. It sounds fabulous. The Vizio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's terrific. It, yeah. it really is. And I, if, if I was didn't already have stuff in all the other rooms, I'd put a sound bar everywhere you know, rather than the whole system that you get. Yeah. It just simply because it's simpler all the way around, you know. It's just nice having the bass, you know, and you hear yeah. so much coming out of those rear speakers. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, Alex, yeah. to go back to your conundrum, here's the thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I worked for Costco for a couple of decades, and yeah. they've got an internal department called Sales Audit. Yeah. And there's a gal who literally every morning goes in there and audits the sales from the day before because Costco sort of savvy has the name, address, phone number, membership, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they actually catch those mistakes. And many times they will, if they catch it, they'll call the person the next day and say, Hey, time, time to shore this up. Now, sometimes <laughs> Costco mistakes the other way. And they're like, we owe you money. So they'll make those calls every single day. So Wow. Um, they do have that mechanism within their uh I don't know this happened once before though and they never called me. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes the sales auditor misses it. Well then tomorrow I just want to answer my phone. To well to the sales the auditor Costco. might not be working at Costco right now because of the COVID. Right. Yeah. They are, but yeah, no, no, no. It's it, it's, it's a not like I would, imagine, I would imagine, I would imagine you're saying that, but if I were Costco and the way Costco runs, I would say uh let it go. It's goodwill. Right. They don't. They don't. <laughs> no, they. Uh, they're very meticulous about that stuff. But, but they, they bring no it return up. Return it for like I the rest they, of your life. Right. I think, can I they? Think. Can they legally make you give the money back? Yeah. Was their mistake? You know, you you have. Yeah. Them. Usually, yeah. when it's their mistake, they give it to you. Right. Yeah, and and I mean, you know what? I'm not going to say that some people wouldn't complain and say, "I want to talk to a manager," and then the manager just writes it off or whatever. Mm -hmm. But. It's like I seriously for 23 years I would watch because I was in the marketing department yeah. I would watch the sales auditor. Do well, that I, I wanted to pay cash with this, which I did. <laughs> do they? How are they going to take cash if I owe them a hundred bucks? Yeah. What they do is they'll call you up and say, "Hey, we charged you the wrong amount. Sorry about that. Can you come and even it out?" No, no sure. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, send somebody, I'll, I'll send send somebody over to get the to cash. You. We'll give it to you if it's a lower price. Yeah. But and then they do the other way too. Yeah, they'll do things if they make a mistake the other way. They say, "Hey, come in. We'll give how you your money." Bet, how much you want to bet? Cash and they how much you want to bet? I don't get a call. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> what? That I'm not going to get a call? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Both yeah. Transactions. The sales auditor may not, probably won't catch it in this case, but sometimes they do. Especially because it's cash. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I, all I wanted to do was pay cash. Listen, I was willing to pay the three hundred. I I was planning to pay the three hundred, and when they charged me two hundred for it, I thought, oh well, I guess it's been marked down. Yeah, yeah. You know, 
well, I, I paid for this in cash. And the only way I can pay you the rest of the hundred bucks is in cash. You'll have to have oh, somebody come over and get it. They could send you what? a bill in the mail. Tell them you're an old man. You can't get down there to pay cash. Right. <laughs> no, way. I, no kid. How am I going to do that? that? Or you're going to have to pay for my Uber to come over to the store. Right. Uber to come over to the store. Yeah. Also, this sounds like the starting of a bad porno movie. How do you expect me to pay for the rest of this soundbar? <laughs> <laughs> They'll say, no, no, no. Go ahead. Keep the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. You paid what they asked you to pay. Yeah. What? You paid what they asked you to pay. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I, I wanted to pay cash for it because that's what I had. I had as a reason for paying cash. And now you're asking me for another hundred bucks, which the easiest way for me to do it is put it on a card. And I don't want to do that. So how do I pay you the cash? No, you say you don't want it for $300. You didn't want to pay it $200. Tell them you have Alzheimer's and you don't remember buying anything. Yet. <laughs> yes, yes. I knew there were two of them. And there was the $200 one. And there, and it probably sounds as good as this one. Okay. It's probably what uh, um, um, Len has. You know, so I got the new one for a 300 and and uh, 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 they charged me for the $200 one. I'm sorry. It's not my mistake. Oh, just tell them you're confused. You're confused. You I don't know what they're even, talking I about. I didn't even look at the prices when I was looking at it. I was just looking at which one looked better to me. And I just took it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm certain a manager would write it off. If you asked to escalate it, I'm sure I'm certain a manager would, would, would tell, write it off. Tell me you know Mike. Tell him you'll stick a mic on. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they thought it was a Black Friday deal. Yeah. Have you, have you, have you, Rick? Have you been to Costco lately? No. It's kind of skeezy. It's getting. It's getting. They, they but it cheese. was last they, year. Remember when they put the cheese in boxes in the refrigerated section where they used to have them, like you know, stacked up. Oh, well, look who's here, Mandy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Speaking of stacked, no, anyway. oh, oh. <laughs> what did we stop it? I missed that. I, I, I checked on the uh, website or on your Facebook page at four o'clock or like three yeah. fifty-five. There's nothing there. Oh well, it's there now. I know. I screwed up. I took my nice pill last night, and it, it I was worried. I can't remember all the things I. Got. I didn't see it either, Mandy. I know. I was <laughs> there now. <laughs> <laughs> thought you didn't like us anymore yeah yeah but, but now we know you can go to gabnet.net here are a couple of things i noticed because i you know i i haven't been i've been there since covid was over but only uh, not in the last say two months and they've made some changes to begin with the checkout has changed right they've, now they have self-checkout they they've up the aisle. number of self-checkout oh. lanes. also they've changed the the checkout stands Okay, and on top of that, remember there was somebody over there who says, go over to number five, go over to number six, go to 16, you know, nobody doing that anymore. It's all, every no man for himself. Bag. What? They don't pack your bags either. Uh, mine does, mine still does. Art will pack the boxes. Yeah. Well, I had a bag, but he wasn't packing it in the bag. He was just throwing it in my cart. Right. Well, no, because that's what I did, because I put it in the trunk of the car. So, yeah, but I it's just, just not... put it in the... It, yeah. it, Costco isn't as easy anymore, you know. It's kind of just like uh, I don't know. I just I I was not happy. Well, the world has changed in the last it, year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. What's, what's better? What's better now than it was two years ago? Yeah. Not oh no, no. But the, the, here's the worst part. Good point. Everybody has an excuse, and what is that excuse? Yeah. COVID. COVID. <laughs> Now you're going to tell me that if you have somebody at home doing uh, customer support, okay, and they're at home, but they're hooked into the computer at work, of course, and they can do the same thing as if they were sitting there at work where they had a computer. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell me that this is a problem because COVID. You know, it's COVID. It's yeah, but COVID. what if what if the purchase was an input into that person's computer? If it was an input into that person's computer. In uh, other words, if when if you get that phone call, yeah, it's possible it's never been put into their system mm -hmm. that you bought this product. Mm, okay. Well, anyway, well, all I'm saying is it, it, for everything, they use the excuse, well, you know, it's COVID now. You know, we, 
Yeah, but hey, I got news for you. Uh, did you read the newspapers? <laughs> it's it's kind of over, you know. <laughs> you can kind of get back to work. <laughs> you know, I don't think anybody should have to have to work at work. I, why not work from home? If it's if if you can work from home and get the job done, then you should work from home. I think that, that's been proven. I think we all do. Yeah, I think what happened is prior to COVID, businesses did not have the reality that you could work from home adequately and with a, a certain kind of accuracy and so on, but they found out they did. And if they want to have an office meeting, they use Zoom. Mm -hmm. And nothing, you know, like Marjorie has a friend, Natalia, and at her job, she they sent them all home because of COVID. And now that it's over, they had her stay home doing her job, right? Permanently. Permanently. Yeah. A lot of places are doing that, but you know, the problem is they've still got the buildings. They're empty. Right. And, the lease and they're building only... more buildings. Yeah. Right. The lease yeah, is on all these buildings. You know, who's going to well, occupy well, these well, buildings? I, you're in an office building, Marjorie. Are there problem? Are they losing office? Are they losing tenants in that office building? I don't know, but half the tenants, half the staff in each place is, is minimal. It's yeah. it's when the lease is run out, Alex. You know, they yeah. can't happen. It's on our lease. Yeah. yeah, we we have lease. We have a big lease coming up uh, in about eight years. I know it seems like it's far away, but that's why we're building up our new buildings right now because we have oh. that. Time to eat. But it's Google stuff. Google yeah. just built some huge, beautiful glass buildings down the street, and uh, now they're not occupied. So we're hoping that they're going to let us actually purchase the land. There should be wow, land. wow, yeah. yeah. But like for instance, Mandy. Did a lot of people in your office, because apparently you didn't work from home, you were working from your office, right? Working. Yeah. yeah did, did, did they have people working from home or? Did... Yeah, we had a whole section of people that started working from home and they just, now they still do. See, that's what I'm saying. The whole, the whole nature of work has changed in offices. Yeah. Changed. I, I will never set foot in an office building again. There's no way I will. Any job I take is going to be remote. Period. But, uh, and that, my I, building where I work is also the building for Jaguar. They're right on the corner. So during COVID, they went down. There's about four or five stories underneath the building. They went down and took two stories and made it into a gym mm -hmm. free for all the tenants. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if people use it yet. It's absolutely right on. But people aren't back in the building. Right. Mm -hmm. I think they're doing that to keep them in the mm -hmm. building. You know, my stockbroker has worked from home for 18 months. Right. Yeah. And he calls me on the phone. He's got all his computers in yeah. his home office. Yeah. He doesn't need to go into the office. Right. I would go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what now, I'm alone. So, I mean, I just, I have to get out of my apartment. I, you know. Yeah. I'm with me. You think about how much Manhattan real estate is offices, though. And it's all commercial. Well, I got to tell you, my business radio. Most of the people who did radio shows did them from home. Howard Stern, uh, uh, um, yeah. he's out in the Hamptons. Uh, Sirius XM built him this huge studio. In fact, it used to be my office. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, you can't use that desk anymore. Why? Howard's coming in. Oh, great. You know, I spent my whole <laughs> life with a shadow of Howard over my back. And that, now he's got my desk. Um, but anyway, uh, they built him this big studio, giant studio. It was all doubled as a TV studio and everything. And then um, all of a sudden, COVID comes along. Where does he do a show from? Space his home out in Long Island. Yeah. Now that yeah. it's over, where is he doing his show from? Well, he, he said he's never going back to serious. Yeah. Really? Why would he? Why, why would he? He's going to continue to do the show from his basement. I'm sure they built him a lovely <laughs> studio in his basement. Well, I'm sure his home is huge and can... They take a big yeah. thing in this basement. But I mean, so, I mean, there's a perfect example of, of and I wonder if they're like utilizing that space for something else. Does he get to have in person guests yet, though? Does he? Like, is Metallica the next time they're going to be on Stern? Do they going to go to this? I have uh, no idea. I don't listen to the yeah. show. Never did. Do you know? I've never heard Howard Stern. Yes, you have when he, came to your, when he came to your studio. The only time I've heard <laughs> Howard Stern is when he came to my studio. Yeah. Was, I haven't heard him in like 10 years. That was awesome. You know? yeah. 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 I haven't heard him since he went to Sirius. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like I love having my podcast studio in my basement. I love it so, so, so much, but the only uh, detriment as opposed to being in a professional office is, is, is as the profile of guests go up and things like that. There, there, yeah, but you know, Metallica could go to the Sirius XM building right. yeah. and then Howard can just, you know, yeah. tap or, or, or Metallica can be at home. Yeah. yeah. Just remote. I, I like the, imper- I think the in-person has a much different dynamic though than the, than the Zoom personally. Yeah. Uh, so that well, might be a factor. I, I, it, all dep- it all depends. Uh, if you, it's up to you to make it sound and feel like it's, they're there, you know, and to, to take, uh, it just takes on a slightly different dynamic. That's all. You yeah. Know. Uh, that makes sense. But I mean, uh, what I'm saying here is that a, a lot of broadcasters during COVID wound up doing their shows. They're from home. Mm. Even the guys who did music, you know, they did well, it from home. What's her name? I'm um, Kelly Ripa. She was doing it from like somewhere in the Caribbean, I think. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Is she? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, but I think about what if right now I went back to doing a radio program for somebody and I have to do it from home. I like the idea of getting in a car every morning, a cab, going down to the Sirius XM studios, <laughs> Going up to a what floor were we on? I can't even remember now. 16th floor or something like that. 32nd floor. Can't remember. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't know which button to push anymore. Um, and then you walk in and then you walk down a hallway and into a studio and you sit there and you get your producer there and you got your um, uh, uh, other person. Your news girl. Huh? Your news person. My news person. Uh, uh, she wasn't a news person in this case. She was a, she was a uh, phone screener. Phone screener. Yeah. And and Just and you go to work, you know. So you. But if I had to do all this from home, there is a different dynamic. You, you just well, a little, you little, a lo- little looser and a little less focused. You know. Well, look at this show. You know. Yeah. Oh, this show has no focus at all. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, but it's a little more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it is fun. You know, uh, it, it is the only pr- this program, the one on Monday, which is the one I love out of everything we do now. It's don't say it too loud. Why? <laughs> why? There's other people. What do you mean there's other people? <laughs> I don't want them to hear. <laughs> well, all I know, all I'm saying is I love this show because it is so nice. And it's so. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's just so nice that. It's- Congenial. What? Congenial. Congenial. And that, refreshing. It, it, if I did it on radio, this would be the only <clears> show <throat> it's kind and talk radio. What? All these people are nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they disagree with each other, but they say, "I'm sorry, but I don't think you're right." What? You know, come on. <laughs> you know. Plus, we talk about all kinds of different stuff, like just such random stuff. Well, it's like a bunch. Of, I look at it as, as if I invited you over to the house. And we all sat in the living room, which yeah. is huge, mm-hmm. by the way. We're so happy to have that living room. Uh, <laughs> I got so invested in your your dabnet. You know, when you just told the whole story about, I was just grossed in your story about That's what? what? Half mean, years. What do you mean our 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 rental problem? I guess I've never heard that. Oh, yeah, that was a really good episode. Well, then, of, then you have heard how it came out, right, Mandy? What? You have heard how it came out. Well, I mean, yeah, I listened for like 45 minutes. <laughs> I assume everything was, nothing's changed, right? Oh, came right. Out. No, but I mean, oh. but you, do you listen to the night show? Did is that where you heard? That's where I heard when oh, you yeah. went okay. through the whole thing. Oh, yeah. You know, we're we're here for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Alex, it would be a really cool episode of Life in the Passing Lane, actually, to go through it and throw it out there with the beginning, middle, end of the whole rental thing. That <laughs> could be a chapter, Alex. Yeah, yeah totally. It could definitely be a we chapter. We went through a lifetime. I haven't been able to get to chapter three where my where my cancer got cured. Yeah, we need you know, that I, Everybody too. thinks I still have cancer in that thing. I, I'm going to have to do that, <laughs> that episode in the next couple of weeks. Get that out of the way. And then you're right. I probably should talk about this this case, which just... You know, it went on forever. I, I, I think I told the judge. Did I say to the judge finally after it was over, boy, this thing took longer than a murder trial? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just glad you yes, had such time to get on. 
What did what, you say, sure. Mandy? Yeah. I just said, I'm, I was so happy to see you had such a good attorney. He was a sharp. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, I didn't know. Uh, you know, here, here's what it is about an attorney. Uh, you, you're sitting in the courtroom. Do you feel this way, Marjorie? And we're listening to these people. I make a motion. I object. Blah, 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 blah. That's but when. And did you understand anything that was going on in that courtroom? It was just gibber jash. It was going back and forth. No, it was gibberish. They were speaking in lawyer speak, which is another language altogether, which is created for the same reason that my parents used to speak Yiddish when they didn't want me to know what they were talking about. Yeah. You'd have to pay them because you can't possibly enter into that conversation. Exactly. And they would never <laughs> teach us Yiddish so they could do all that back talking. Yeah. A Vernon? So what broke this multi-year impasse? Uh, we, there was an offer, case. there was an offer made. It was not one which I liked, uh, particularly, but you know, it was a matter of getting this thing over with. All right. In which we were going to pay a certain amount of money to the guy who rented us the apartment, who didn't have the right really to rent us the apartment, but he would then say he's relinquishing his part of the thing. Okay. With us, with us. And then the, the uh, uh, landlords said, and if that happens, uh, we will then okay it so that Alex and Marjorie can rent the apartment at a rent stabilized price. No mm -hmm. back rent. And no back rent. Please. Wow. Well, I mean, Marjorie put out $100,000 of her hard earned money uh, to pay over the last eight and a half years to lawyers. And then, and we're paying out seventy five thousand. So we started adding that all up. And over the last ten years, uh, eight and a half years, years, we probably paid eighteen hundred dollars a month in rent. Okay, well that's uh, fair. That's that's good. So what would that apartment go for? Twenty five hundred square foot. What? What? what would that apartment go for if it was just you know on the market? About seven, oh, eight, seven thousand, eight thousand a month. Holy shit! But yeah. I've got you. Got to realize. I've got how many rooms do we have, Marjorie? 10, 11 rooms? We have 2,500 square feet. That's wow. how big my house is. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's big. It's huge. And, wow. Uh, and we're paying now rent stabilized rent. We're, or we're going to. Also, uh, the best Spanish food in New York, right? What? You're muted, Jeff. You live in it's an actual beautiful place. You, you've been know. here, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And the fact that we're paying that, uh, you know, the, the rent stabilized price, which is, I, I don't even want to tell you. you it's outrageous. <laughs> I want to uh, move in with you. Cry. <laughs> then it's I'll, less I'll than just say, I'll just say that it's for a price lower than <clears throat> $300 a month. Okay? Yeah. Lower than that. Okay. Nice. Do you have a foyer? We have a foyer. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. the size oh, yeah. of a lot of people. It's the size of Shecky's bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it, isn't it could probably fit like 10 of my apartments in your apartment and you're paying less than i'm paying in maintenance yeah you got to come up now and see this wow you, know? yeah, you have to yeah. no i really want to we're going away this weekend maybe next weekend after this yeah you, you gotta come yeah. see it you know how's how's the the come see it you can all how's, stay how's the what How's the foliage in Riverside Park? We're thinking of going up and just walking Beautiful. around. Yeah, it's almost mm. gone. Uh, oh well, we'll probably miss it. How many? How many bedrooms? How many bedrooms? Oh, yeah. she she has her. She owns an apartment that fronts Riverside yeah. Park, right, Marjorie? Yeah. 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 What happened to Shecky? Riverside. What? Shecky disappeared. Oh, there he is. What? Uh, move it over. There mm. he is. There he is. No, I'm right here. <laughs> uh, so I went out to see Shecky this weekend. Oh, <laughs> finally, yeah, a little bit of a. Yeah. And he he picks me up. I, what I do is I take the subway, uh, the F train, out to the very last stop on the subway line. Last stop. And, and, uh, it's an F stop. It's a camera. Uh, mm. No, it's uh, the F stops at 179th. I get out. I walk about a block, and I call Shecky when I'm at 169th, and then. His car rolls up and picks me up, and we go up to his place. Okay, it's all very well and good. Now he comes this week, and he's—I hear he, something doesn't sound right with the car. 
there's a kind of thumping sound. It sounded to me like there was a flat tire, but I looked at the two tires in the back and they weren't flat. So I get in the car. We start driving. And there and Alice is, is telling me to pull over. Well, well, I'm telling you to pull over because I, I you know, if you, if you ride on rims, you can really do damage to the car. Am and I I'll right? Buy a new car. Huh? It's a 25 year old car. It's a, this is a 25 year old car. Let me, let me tell you how old it is. And we'll do that in a second, but I want to just see if I can show you a picture here. Um, I saw the picture uh, of the tire you posted. People love the picture. Yeah, people saw, on Facebook here, love the Here picture. is the tire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that was Shaggy's tire? Yeah. yeah. Wow. As we're driving, it gets worse and worse. And now oh, we're, oh. we're bumping up and down. And oh, that geez. thing was riding on the rims. Let me show you what it looked like on the car. That's a work of art, man. That's like, oh, uh, uh, you drugs. could put that in a, in a, in a uh, gallery as a piece of art <laughs> and here of course is is shecky um uh, with his tire Thank you. Yeah. Oh but God. i got it into the driveway <laughs> <laughs> yeah the and then came we, in 15 minutes well that uh, well, what happened on. was is i how are we what are we going to do i'm going you better get to a gas station or whatever and then i said oh wait a minute i remembered the old days you have three a's yeah okay we'll call three a's when we get home so we got home, called three days. They said it'll be take an hour. By the way, there's nobody on the other end of the line. It was all computer. It was all voicemail. Oh. Yeah, voicemail. And he, they said they'll be there within an hour. And 10 minutes later, the guy's knocking on the door or honking the horn or doing whatever he did. Mm -hmm. Puts on the tire, you know. And now here's the thing Shecky has an old uh, car, 25. No, it years wasn't old. a donut. Well, well, you know, that's the point I'm going to make. It's 25 <laughs> years old, that car. We went in to get the tire. What happens when you go to get your tire when you get a spare, need a spare, and you go in the trunk and get the tire? What is there? Out of air. Huh? It's a little tiny thing. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, they call it a, a, a donut. Oh, donut. Yeah. Donut, if it's smaller. Yeah. Temporary you, spare. And then they tell you, you don't ride on this for more than a couple of days. You know? Right. But the, it gets you out. Well, his car was so old, it actually had a tire in the back. <laughs> <laughs> tire. remember the days when they put a tire in the back we used to have five you, tires you That's had right. five tires right yeah. sometimes one tire went bad you kind of like use the spare you my know. car doesn't even come with a spare at all my, huh? yeah my car has no spare well, no, what do you do then it's yeah, run, run flat tires run flat tires they're good for about 50 miles 50 and miles if to... and if you can't find a place to repair it in 50 miles you're boned well, wait a minute, <laughs> but you can run on a flat tire Oh yeah, I drove. Yeah. I, I got a flat at the top of uh, in Tahoe and drove all the way to Reno. It was about fifty miles, and had to buy a new tire. And I was at going fifty miles an hour. It was fine. Really? Wow. Yeah. Mine was just bouncing up and down. I will admit that. Yeah, yeah. This, this car wasn't made to for the tires to go that far. <laughs> no. In fact, I don't think. I mean, he he made it. He just made it home. Okay, and luckily the rim did look okay. The rim was uh, in good shape, you know. So. Jackie was lucky that the that the spare tire wasn't dry rotted. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, there, there, yeah. Jeff's got his hand up. Yeah, how many miles did you actually have on this car? Oh, listen to this. I had sixty thousand miles, and it's twenty five <laughs> years old. Wow. Just put wow. some new pot. New hey, you remember those jokes about the, little, uh, about oh, the, the, the little used little car dealer saying it was used by a little old lady who only <laughs> drove it on Sundays? Right. Yeah. Shecky, and only one person owned it. Are, are you the original owner, Shecky? Yes. Well, wow. my mother owned it. Oh, all right. I inherited it when she died. All mm -hmm. right. <laughs> and and Shecky is. Um, Shecky is the most you're you're fairly frugal yes you know you don't go out and buy anything that's unnecessary well you do actually you buy a lot of dvds I buy a lot of dvds dinner. and books and books but outside of that you you don't treat yourself well you know <laughs> it's like you know uh you get you get a new tv set and you go well, well i got a 65 inch tv that runs perfectly so why am i gonna buy a what new do you one? need yeah I keep see the difference between you and me is I'm such a techie. I wait. I'm waiting for the TV set to break. And mine still has 3D in it. My, oh, I have two. I have one with 3D that doesn't work, but it could be fixed easily. And I may have somebody come up and fix it. Probably needs a condenser or something. And my one in the bedroom is even better. It's a, 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 what do you call it? 4K 3D. 
Still and it, it's terrific, you know, and still run, runs 3D movies and all of that. But I won't get rid of the other one because I want, I want to, re- if you have a 3D TV set and you want to sell it, there are buyers out there. And you'll get more for it than you ever paid for it originally. Because they don't make them anymore. Yes, uh, Brian. Bye-bye, guys. Okay. I gotta go get I gotta go get my little monster Adrian. How, how, is, how is she? She looks she's doing good. She's yeah, she's doing really good. They're getting ready for the holiday party thingy. They're doing their dance thing, you know, in her dance competition class. So no, she's Aww. doing well. You you I'll, I'll tell you, you sent me a picture of her in her costume for Halloween. Oh yeah. You look like an adult. I know. Yeah. She's so tall. Is she? Yeah. How tall is she? Uh, how tall is she? Uh, she, I don't know. I, 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 I think, you don't have those yeah. little things where you mark on the, on yeah, the floor, I do right? downstairs and we're doing it uh, next month or something. We have a date that we do it every year. So yeah, I'll, I'll measure, but yeah, she's, she's, so I was at a car thing this weekend and I met this couple and the lady is a kindergarten teacher and she would not believe me that Adrian just turned six. Cause she's a, you know, Adrian's in kindergarten too. And she says, yeah, she's taller than any kid I've had. So wow. uh, how tall, tall are you? Uh, six, four. Okay. Not, like, not like Mr. Bender. But, but you know, uh, short, short compared to him. Usually aren't Asians small. Yeah, but see, Tiffany, though, her brother is really tall. So when her brother hangs out with us, it looks mm. like he's my he's my son because he's younger. Yeah, he's like 21. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, she looked adorable in that picture. Yeah. She's- yeah. She's- Brian, send me a picture. I want to see it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I will. Okay, yeah. bye, everybody. Okay, bye. We'll see you later, Brian. See you later. See you, Brian. Brian Neary, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you know, I always like to bring up old people. The oldest living Academy Award winner turned 100 today. And that is? Walter Mirisch. Wow. Walter Mirisch. Now, no, people, a lot of people don't know. Any, anybody know that name? I do. Yeah. I do. He Walter ran United Mirisch. Artists in the 50s into the 60s. So he made West Side Story, some like it hot, oh. the apartment oh, wow. in the yeah. heat of the night. God, the Russians are coming. Yeah. I can go down the list. Yeah, and he, he, his credit was on all those films too. Did he do the yeah. Pink yeah. Panther movies? He owned the studio. Yeah, or, did he owned the studio. Did he do the Pink Panther movies? Yes. Not having yes, a vision of his name and that lettering. Yeah. Uh, all, those, you know, all those UA films in the fifth, late fifties and sixties had his name, the Mirish Corporation. Mm. So he turned hundred today. Hundred today. And who do we? And he do? probably who? doesn't have health insurance. Yeah. No, no, he he would be. Uh, I think the producers' association, so he's not SAG after. He would grandfather in. But but, but who is it? The female actress who just turned one hundred and three, hundred and four. Well, Livy to have him, but that was a year ago. No, 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 no. There's somebody just now who just. Oh, turned you're right. I can't think of her name right now. You're and right. She is the oldest member again of SAG after, and of course, That's the right. member of SAG after without health. Insurance. And Norman Lloyd would have turned 107 today. Yeah. Today? Yeah. Wow. Wow. We lost Norman Lloyd this year, but he was, yeah. he was at 106. Old. He was old. Yeah. He still had his, his, his marbles, you know? Uh, and so does Mirish. Mirish still works. Oh, really? Wow. You know, not to the extent he worked in the 60s. He's the one who started, he took over Monogram and, and then turned it into Allied Artists. Oh, this is a long, that's a long time ago. And then it became the Mirish Corporation. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, a name that you saw on credits every time you went to the movies, practically. You know? Yeah, the Mirish Corporation presents and then whatever the movie was. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow. So, well, mm. so what kind of work are you doing today, Mandy? Sorry, I had it on mute. Um, I'm worried this first week of the month is when we do all of our cash flow stuff. We get all of our money in and we're recording all of our money and figuring out our cash flow for the month. So you get to play with other people's money. I do. Yeah. Marjorie does much the same thing. The first of the month is always you're closing the books, right? Yeah, we already did. That. Oh, yeah. Huh? Well, Marjorie? Closing yeah. The, yeah. Closing the books. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Doing that too, but yeah. This is, do either of you gulp when you see the huge amounts of money you're moving back and forth? 
<laughs> I, I don't really pay attention. I used to, but I don't anymore, especially in real estate. It's, it's, just, it's just kind of like monopoly, right? You know, it's, yep. it's, it's not real money. <laughs> oh, it is real money. Well, it really isn't, you know. I mean, it's just this money's being moved over here, and this money's being moved over here. Yeah, I just moved two hundred and sixty thousand on Friday for somebody, and that's I, I was thinking that exact same thing. It's so weird pressing a few buttons here, getting a signature, pressing a few buttons here, and a quarter million dollars moves. <laughs> By the way, I got to tell you, uh, you know, Marjorie had a situation where. She, she was conned out of 50, 6,500 bucks by somebody who claimed that her boss was in jail and he had to be bailed out. Oh, yeah. And, and it turned out that he was never in jail. There's a sucker born every moment. And oh, yeah. Well, anyway, they're very good. He was out $6,500. Now, if that happened here in America, that America. 6,650. Huh? What? 6,650. 6650? Yeah. Boy, that's a I don't know how it got to that. I thought it was 65. Anyway. Anyway. What? Well, didn't they come back for more money? Isn't that what you told me? Yeah. 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 At that time I was walking to the police. Yeah, that's a good story. But, but anyway, so she was out $6600 out of her own pocket. <clears throat> she she ah. went on Monday told them the whole story. Now, here in America, you work for a company and that happened what would happen to your money would your company cover you asking uh, everybody yeah yeah i don't think my company company would. Would. And she thought well, she was doing something for, for for the boss of the company oh I see. The CEO. The CEO. The CEO. um an american company probably would not cover that no. Did you have you have a way of proving that to the company that that's why you that's what you know what happened? Yeah. But just have the withdrawals. Yeah. My take is that a small business has a much likelier uh, chance of it going through because the small business can hear the story and they can have empathy and all that. Many times, corporate structures. Okay, but here we're talking about. Why aren't we talking about a big corporation, Marjorie? Huge, huge, a big private oh. equity. Yeah, uh, Jeff. Oh, I'm curious about Marjorie. Uh, how many people are actually in the organization? About 150, maybe. It's a big. That's a big joint. Well, we're in Shanghai, Beijing, Hong Kong. Oh yeah. Tokyo, yeah. US. This, is, this is the San Francisco, the New York office, and then yeah. she runs the New York office. Um, I don't invest. I don't know what an investor doing anything like that. About. Yeah, don't don't trust her with money. Uh, they take money and they invest it. Yeah, but most well, American companies would just say, "Well, sucker born every minute." Sorry, sorry right. about this. They immediately I had somebody who they immediately said, this off we'll, on something money." We'll make it up to you. And as and they of what, today, they they made the final. I got the month. second check. I did it in two checks. One in October, one in November. Yeah, but, but know, they, 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 they absolutely did it. You know. They <laughs> said, you know, we don't want it to appear as extra income, so I had to do it like as supply. Yeah, they didn't want it to be extra income because she'd have to pay taxes on it. Taxes on it. Yeah, yeah. And it's not really taxes. It's money she was out from being billed. So, but you know what I, what I think about is here in America, companies would not cover that. It just wouldn't. And and that and then so when everybody talks about the Chinese and what they got they're terrible and they're horrible and whatever they aren't to the people who work for them, you know. That's yeah. why they work for them so long. They don't change jobs. Yeah, yeah. The average person stays at his company forever. Forever. You know, it's part of your life, part of your bragging rights. Hey, I work for Citic. You know. It's the um, longest job I've ever had. Yeah. Really. Um, 20 years. I think the best oh, job you ever cool. had. The best job in the last job. Yeah. But isn't it nice that your last job is the best job? That they yeah. paid that for me. In fact, when, when Yi Chen was in today, he said to Hans, is everything taken care of with her? Wow. That's yeah. really great. I, you know, I worked, I worked at the same place for 37 years, and I, I think they would have done that. If, if I thought my headmaster was in jail, I had to pay money, and I said I did. I think they would have reimbursed me somehow. Okay, and and you were you were with a you were with a small school though, weren't you? 
you know, it's uh, about in high, high school, about 500 people or so. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. What? I had. I was there uh, for 40 years. And then I retired, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there was like 12 people, something like that. Now, did you retire oh. when you had the stroke or did you just come back after the stroke? Well, I actually was working there and uh, the first stroke, uh, which was first stroke. I didn't know you had more than one. Well, OK, as far as when I had the real I for the first stroke, I call it because it's different. Yeah, I was out for a year. Oh, wow. So I didn't even go to work. Yeah. And ultimately, I had somebody who was teaching me how to talk again. So, you know, it was a tough year. But one of the guys kind of ran the company, okay? But the problem was, <laughs> it's funny. I come in, I go, how's it going? He goes, oh, everything's nice. I says, is all the customers? You got a lot of projects? No. <laughs> call us. They'll call us when they need us. <laughs> and I said, we're getting in the car tomorrow and you're driving because I can't drive yet. I says, we're going to New Jersey and we're going to see Beck to Dickinson and we're going to make a deal with them on something. <laughs> on something. And I don't know. I went to the Beck to Dickinson had a lot of people there yeah. and I went and stopped by every single person that I've ever <clears throat> seen them in my whole life. And <laughs> and we get back in the car. And, and my friend Bill says to me, he says, well, obviously they would have called us if they had something they need. I said, okay, 20 minutes, we get a call from one of them. There's a project we'd like you to work on. <laughs> so even, I was with pretty, a, even with a, I was pretty happy. Even with a um, stroke, post-stroke, you were able to make a deal for your company. I, I had to. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This is survival ship. <laughs> well, now, Charlie, you don't work anymore, right? You basically well, just umpire stuff. Yeah, just umpire and stuff. You're you're kind of retired, is what you would say. Yeah, yeah. I never say I'm retired. I am. You know, but I never say I'm retired. Do you think of me as retired, Shecky? No. Do you think of yourself? You do a radio yeah. show four or five times a week. Yeah. <clears throat> how, about, how about you, Shecky? You uh, you retired? Well, I still own the company. Okay. But uh, you retired. I don't have to go there, thank God. But yeah. Yeah. I still own 50% of it. Oh, that's pretty cool. When's the last time you left the house? Saturday when we walked to the turnpike. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm having a hard time with the transition to retirement. I'm we're getting close and and it's so hard after spending 45 years of saving and saving and saving and saving and I've done pretty well and now I'm like how I'm having a hard time reconciling taking money out, you know, and not being the saver guy anymore. No, I'm living on my, I'm living on my retirement, you know. Yeah. I mean, but it, it, you know, you do get money from the government and stuff like that. Like oh, Social we're going to be it, just it, fine. It, it, it kind of, uh, kind yeah. of, you know. With my I mean, investments and my house and my Social Security and my wife's pension, we're going to be just fine. But I'm just having a hard time Benny. pulling the plug, I guess. You well, know, no, I, have hard, I have a hard time saying I'm retired. Now, the only time I've really played the, the senior ploy was uh, in the court last week. <laughs> <laughs> the judge said, "Well, how much are you willing to pay this guy?" And it was less than than we wanted. The judge felt we should pay, right? And I said, "Well, you know, all the money we have, we have for our retirement." My wife, my poor wife, look at her; she's worn out from working. She can't <laughs> stop working because she's got to. She's, you know. And then I said, "And myself, I'm I'm going on eighty two, Your Honor." Yeah. You know, and. From the back of the room. Good number. This, this woman who was his court lawyer says, Well, suppose you lose. <laughs> and my other lawyer said, 
well, suppose one of the others lose, okay? You know, I mean, it, but I, I tried the senior ploy and it didn't work. Yeah. I'm just a poor old man. I'm 82 years old. I, 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 I you know, I'm, I'm on a fixed <clears throat> income. I, I'm not even on a fixed income. It's welded in, you know, uh, and, uh, uh, but it didn't work. But It did. I, I'm telling you, it worked for you. Well, it, it really worked. did. No, no, I'll tell you what happened. I had this lawyer, okay? And I, you know, I wasn't too sure about what he was doing because he was doing my, the guy who's suing us, he was, he got up and he was talking to a, one of the landlord's uh, witnesses. Who's and he was going, he was going after him like he was working for the guy who was suing us. I couldn't figure out what he was doing mm -hmm. until the next day when we got word that they had caved and decided to go with the deal. And the reason was they all wanted our lawyer off the case. <laughs> They didn't want him in that courtroom. He was too good, and he was making too much trouble for the, for the for their their particular cases. And he was so good that the guy who was suing us asked if he could be represented by our lawyer. Uh. <laughs> so uh, yeah, at that point, I realized that what he had done the day before was a ploy, good. and the ploy was to put the fear of God into him that he knew what he was doing and they didn't. Great, you know. And, and it was wonderful. It was like, it was like I, I said, it was like watching a ballerina on stage do her craft, you know? Yes, Vernon. I'm trying to figure out why this guy that you all were sub renting from illegally yeah. should get anything. Yeah. Well, that's exactly how I felt, but well, that's here's why, he, he, here's why yeah. he could get something. Somebody would have had to get something, okay? And uh, what this was is it got us out of it. It, it 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 got us out of this case. We're no longer in this case. The two of them are still fighting, the landlord and the guy. Wow. We're out of the case. And as my lawyer put it, hey, it's a cheap price to pay to be able to walk away from this, we'll go home and feel you're the tenant of your apartment. Mm -hmm. You know? And he's right. He was right. Right. Yeah. And when we consider, you know, that in, in retrospect, even with that and the lawyer's fees, we paid about $1,800 a month in rent over the last eight and a half years. Not, that was not bad. Great. It's certainly below rent stabilized price. Scott yeah. Bacher has been very quiet. He's just been listening today, right, yes. Scott? I'm just happy I could get on. I didn't know about the uh, Facebook or the GabNet link yeah. in your thing. Alex so, fucked up. I, <laughs> I, was listening, I was listening in and then uh, Marjorie, I heard her yelling from the back and Alex said it was on GabNet, so. Yeah. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, I I should actually uh, next time we do this maybe also broadcast this live on our uh, on our stream. I just uh, don't do it because uh, it's too complicated. Yeah. I, I don't on, wanna, on your YouTube. What I channel? like what, what I like about this show group. is I don't have to work at it. Mm. You know, the night show I kind of have to work at. Uh, and I like this because I just get together and everybody has something to say and Mandy's there working and says something every now and then. And <laughs> Jeff is hanging out in his home in Connecticut and yeah. Steve Bender's down there, I, uh, you know, in his part of town down near Washington Square Park. Uh, Charlie Wallace, you know, it's just nice. And it's, it, you know, and many times it's the only time I get to see Shecky, although I did see him this weekend, mm. you know. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to have to see him more because I'm going to put in a, a raid unit in his apartment so that he can house. I've been I've also I've also been researching that Shecky. So I'll tell you, yeah, you know, but okay, it's it's fine, you know. Uh, anyway, hey, uh, well, we got about a minute left. Anybody have anything they want to say? Mm. Hey, Alex, can I oh. can I utter a sentence that I've never uttered before? What? And I feel pretty good about it. What? Next hey, on your show next week, can I please plug my book? Oh, I got a book. oh really? I got a book coming out this week. You have, a, you have a book to plug? This week, my wife and my book comes out, and we're pretty damn excited. Wait, wait, about wait. Your, your wife's it. coming out? <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that, that's a different book. Um, I see. <laughs> yeah, so we got a book coming out this week. So next week on the show, I'm gonna. I'm pretty proud of it. So I'll show. So is, it up this there. A, is this a printed book or is this a ebook? 
uh, we're releasing it printed first, and then the ebook and the audio will be later. Wow, yeah. then that's really a book. It's it's <laughs> a book. It's an honest it's a book that Shecky could buy and and put on his lap. Absolutely, yes. because and we, we were talking the other day about the fact that he likes reading books, yeah, rather than on an iPad. Yeah. Except on airplanes and cruises or trips, it's more. You don't want to carry. It, it's more convenient that way. It's more convenient that way. You can take a whole library with you on an yeah. iPad. But, but you don't when want. When I'm add... home, I just prefer reading an actual book. Because he's an as, old. As you should. As you should. In many ways, Shecky's older than I am. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. All right. What, but yes, Vernon, you get the last word here. Well, I'm hearing I'm hearing on a lot of the major networks that COVID is over. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, they the Pfizer's come out with a pill. Moderna's come out with a pill. They've come out with shots for uh, kids five to eleven, and and uh, the the caseload is dropping everywhere. We had zero case new cases in Kentucky yesterday. Wow. Zero. We're still averaging seventy-five thousand new cases a day, and twelve. You know, unless you're Aaron yeah. Rodgers, wow. you're not getting COVID. <laughs> How good are you? Right, right. But it's still, it's, it's, yeah. it's uh, you know, listen, we're glad it's over. Yeah, I, I, mean, I know. I know you're not a stern fan, but I just see what he said about Aaron Rodgers was great. Okay. What? He, what he said, said, "If you get injured on the football field, call Joe Rogan in." Anyway, hey, that's kind of it. We've gone, gone a little bit over, but I don't mind doing that. Uh, Edward Berger, okay. great that's team. right. That's All he has right. to do is talk once or twice in the show, and it's that's, really that's right. That's right. I'm off to sell my 3G TV. I'll be down in Times Square. <laughs> see what I can get for it. Okay. Uh, let me see. Rick, thank you. Anytime. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mike Chisholm, good to have you back this week. Uh, uh, Vernon, always a pleasure to have you here. Steve Vender, you're the best. Uh, Charlie Wallace, you're the best as well. Scott Boddicker, you're the best. You can't believe me. I'm just uh, kissing you. <laughs> Marjorie, hey, you are what you are. Uh, Jim, so uh, thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, listen, I love her incredibly i think did you, I did, did, did you take her out for her birthday not no, yet, we not yet. no I, we we had a little dinner that night okay. but it wasn't official it doesn't okay. birthday dinner because we were in court oh, uh, okay Fine. So, so so uh and i think was it the day we won that you no it was the day after we won it was the day before no no your birthday was what day the third wednesday third was wednesday we won on oh. thursday thursday yeah i took out that but i mean you know it it, it we, we're, i'm gonna take her out it's not that we didn't take her out because i'm a cheap know. skate you know which i am but you know we all understand alex yes but i love her dearly and i don't think i've loved her more than when we won the other day and i felt that the two of us had gone through such a thing together and uh, eight and a half years eight and a half years yeah it was worse than a marriage uh, it's longer than many year marriages, I Jeff think. Stein, thank you, and thank you, Mandy. I really appreciate it. Everybody, give a big goodbye, wave goodbye, and I'll sign this stuff off here. Let me see. Here. First, I'll stop the live stream. Bye, and then I'll stop the recording. Bye.